Okay, morning folks. Welcome to briefing on Thursday the 16th. Whizzed through this month. I'm halfway through already. Um, so yeah, it's actually been some nice weather. Not fantastic cross-country flying, but we certainly have flown fairly regularly this month. Um, doesn't look like it's going to change too much in the next day or two. Although there's, you can see on the chart here, lots of fronts gathering out to the west. Um, they look like they're just fizzling out. This this cold front here was active earlier, you know, about 24 hours ago over Ireland. Doesn't seem to be anything on it, and it's just showing up as a, a cloud feature. Look at wide spacing on the isobars, so very, very light uh, westerly flow. Some upper cloud associated with these fronts here, but nothing that's actually going to affect us. Uh, the TAFs mainly covering, if you look at Farnborough, um, what's happening out the window now, the sort of fog that we've got and the, the mist. So uh, it's saying 223 knots. BBC forecast and other forecasts show more westerly, but only two or three knots, very light. Um, reduced visibility um, over the next hour or two. 30% uh, probability between eight and nine fog, which is pretty much what we've got now. And then becoming at some point um, during the morning between 9 and 12, um, 10k viz, no significant weather and few at 2,000 feet. So it's it's just burning off, turning into low cloud, then rising, uh, and eventually we'll get cumulus uh, off and on during the day. Upper winds, west southwesterly across here, more westerly across the channel, but only light. You can see there, even down in the channel. 10 knots uh, over the centre of the country, five knots, uh, probably 240, 250 degrees at flying heights. Sat pit does show the, the fog. This might actually be the, the sort of trailing, weak, dying front, but this is the sort of fog. The infrared shows it as well. Patchy, people come in from the east said it's, it's fairly patchy. I've come in from the west, it was quite foggy. Uh, where I live, uh, but it will burn off uh, not quite as quick as middle of the summer because uh, it's getting into towards autumn time. So probably an hour or two, this will lift up fairly quickly. Uh, temperature wise, it then goes to um, somewhere around 22 degrees today. BBC and the local radio uh, station both predicting 22 degrees in the center of the country here over us, a um, bit cooler on the coast, it's an onshore breeze. And I think that combined with dew points at about 11 to 12 today, should give us a reasonable soaring. I think this is about right, actually, currently dew points 12, 13s in, in the fog go down a little bit uh, once that clears. So reasonable temperature and dew point split. Um, playing about with the numbers, looking at the sounding by one o'clock. We should have cloud base somewhere around three and a half thousand feet above sea level. At best with sort of 21 degrees. And a little bit later on, not really much change. Again, about three and a half thousand feet. Cloud tops probably be about four, four and a half. And there is some sign of spread out in places. And you can see that from the actual Lark Hill ascent. You sort of see here that this is the sort of low cloud and fog uh, when they launch the, the balloon and the lines come together a little bit at various places. But up here at about 5,000 feet, there's an inversion. So looking at the numbers with 22 degrees, um, you're going to have three and a half thousand foot cloud base and potential for bits of spread out here. Hopefully that will disappear slowly during the day and it'll only be isolated areas of spread out. BBC described it as cloud coming and going. Top Meteo, well, their maps suggesting that's, that's 11 o'clock local time, but you can take it as pretty much 10 o'clock. Still a bit foggy, but clearing by 11 and then we're seeing cumulus and you can see they're showing bits of spread out here 
um, four to six sates cumulus um, over our area and out towards the north. Um, bits are spread out in places around us and east of us. And they're showing the same sort of picture running through till about four or five o'clock this afternoon when it will just sort of fizzle out. And that'll be the end of the day. You can see the upper cloud here associated with the front coming in later in the day. Their thermal height's pretty similar to ours, really. By 12 o'clock, it should get going, hopefully around here. And certainly by one, two o'clock, 3,000 feet, and then 12, 12 to 1,300 meters around Lashen, which is three and a half thousand feet above sea level. So same sort of thinking as, as we've seen on the predicted and the actual ascents. Um, so reasonable autumn soaring day. I think it's these soft thermals looking at the ascent. It's not uh, hugely unstable. Um, air mass, but should be good for maybe 100 to 200 K. Out to the the west and north towards Oxford. So nice, pleasant day, really. Uh, tomorrow should be flyable, but we're a little bit frontal with the stuff you can see out in the uh, Atlantic. And then Saturday looks quite nice again. So holding out for a, a couple of days. Airspace wise, um, let's go through this. Uh, usual stuff um, in place and quite a few other uh, things around here. So uh, 12 is the Southampton uh, hours of operation. Number 17, interesting one, there's a, a fly past um, at South Wanston, yeah, which is where I live. <laughs> 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 this evening at, at 18.15 so uh, I'll see if I can get home for that don't know what it is uh, that's just off the edge of the Southampton zone under under the sort of shelves of airspace here so 18, 20 and 21 it's the soldier plane high intensity radio transmissions 20 clay pigeon shooting 21 is danger area crossing service uh, 13 and 14. There we go. 13, 14. Goodwood. It's in the right place. 13 and 14. Goodwood, they've got aerobatics and air display. Um, four o'clock till eight o'clock tonight. And you can see. There's another one, number 14. It's from 1800 hours to eight o'clock tonight. More aerobatics. So active down at Goodwood. I won't bother with 10 and 11. They're on the Isle of Wight. Um, the ones up here, Benson, 29. And look at the, the rest. They're actually in. Uh, these, these don't worry too much about. They're actually inside. Um, rises zone, but number 29 actually at Benson. There's a fly past, uh, and that's late tonight. So there's lots of fly past going along you know, through Rise, Benson area. So it is fairly, fairly busy in that area, but nothing major to affect gliding. So um, in our area and where you're likely to fly, fairly quiet. Um, operationally, we're on 2.7. Uh, we'll get out there actually when it starts to look like it's going to lift. Um, bit of a disturbed day with possible jet movements. Uh, as in theory, they're doing an engine run on the runway this morning. Have they started it yet? I think they have been out there. They have been out there. Okay. And that's a test with a potential um, air test after that, uh, which could be at any time early afternoon, out for a couple of hours and then back. And there's another notification of a PA31 at 1530. So we have the potential for a couple of movements and a PA31 coming in, but nothing 
actually confirmed just yet. So just to play that one by ear. Uh, apart from that, should be a fairly normal day, folks. So uh, we will see you out there.